All right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, now if you're taking the clutch out of your Sportster and you wanna press on this diaphragm spring to release the clip, you need a special tool. That tool will cost you about 80 pounds to buy a real one, less if you buy a knockoff one, but I'm spending a lot of money on my project and I wanna see if I can save some money here. Spending out for a tool I'm not gonna use once more than every five years kind of rubs up the wrong way. So today I've got a few ideas, I've seen a few other people's ideas and I think I can make a tool for that out of basic domestic materials for next to nothing and still do it safely. Right, the dedicated tool that does the job spreads the load evenly around the diaphragm spring by having a metal ring on the inside, three little legs, and then it pulls on this threaded shaft and presses inwards evenly. And what I've got to make that ring from is this. It's a PVC pipe socket for underground drainage. Simple piece of fat, thick PVC pipe. I've got to cut it down to about 20 mil thick, nice and evenly, so let's do that first. Right, that's cut 20 mil or three quarters of an inch off the end. Now that will sit nicely, flat and square, all the way around the diaphragm spring. And next what I need is a bridge across the diameter of the tube that I can wind into. And I think that's about it. It doesn't need much more. We've got 20 mil thickness of plastic spacer, just a ring effectively, and that will press gently and evenly on the diaphragm spring. Doesn't need a lot of pressure, really not much at all. And I've used a little bridge of an old dog bone, bit of scrap metal, six mil thick, so it won't cave in, and drilled a hole in it, eight mil hole. And then I'm gonna use the nut itself that screws onto the shaft as part of the assembly. And just gently wind that in enough just to take the weight off the clip, and I should be able to take a clutch out. A little clip, and just pop it out. There it is. Yeah. That's it, and the whole lot should lift out. There we go. Right, whilst the spring is compressed there, if you were throwing a new clutch in right now, you just leave that there. But this is gonna wait for a while because I haven't got the gasket to put all this back together yet. So what I'm gonna do is take the pressure off this spring. It doesn't do for any spring to be held compressed for long periods of time. Obviously that can ruin it. So quickly, bit of eye protection. And then just release the pressure off it.
All right, okay, just to give you some dimensions, that piece of pipe that I bought, that's three and a half inch. Um, it's actually 90 mils, a metric piece. And if you look at depth, I cut 20 mil, or three quarters of an inch roughly. You don't want it any deeper than that because when you put it on and you stick the bridge across it to then start screwing onto that shaft, you want the full thread inside that nut before you start leaning on it, obviously, otherwise you could strip it. So 20 mil deep, 90 mil bore, piece of cake. And that literally cost me about three pounds if I look at how much of it. What I've got left there, I can make two or three more out of that really easy. Now, if you haven't got a lathe and a bandsaw to cut it square, it's not difficult to do. Use a jigsaw or you can do the old trick with a Jubilee clip round the pipe and then hacksaw against the clip and it will go straight. But anyway, I'm sure you can work that out. I'm sure yours will look slightly different to mine, but hopefully you've seen the principle of how it works. And seriously, it's that easy and you can save yourself all that money on a tool you're hardly ever going to use. Anyway, there we are. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe. And I'll see you next time.